Welcome to sunny Los Angeles. So what do we have here, Nathan? We have the 2014 Dodge Durango. And it is refreshed, but there is a catch. There is a catch, and that is we are embargoed from driving impressions. So we can't tell you what it's like to drive in this particular video, but we can tell you what they've updated. That's right, we wanna be first with the story, so we're not gonna wait two weeks, and we're gonna give you the scoop coming up next on the Fast Lane Car. new stuff going on in the front end with the headlights here you can see it's a different shape LEDs inside everything on the side has remained the same the hood is slightly unique to the vehicle as well but another spot where there's been some big changes is right back here where you have this what they call racetrack ring that goes all the way around when illuminated yeah it's from the Challenger and the Charger that's right and the Dart now Dodge will tell you that this is more than just a front and rear fascia update. There's a brand new 8.4 inch touchscreen. There's a new rotary knob for gear selecting. And now every Durango comes with paddle shifters. That's right, baby. It's a Hemi. This is a 5.7 liter V8, and it puts out 360 horsepower, 390 pound-feet of torque, and it's hooked up to an eight-speed automatic transmission. That's all new. Eight speeds, dude. That seems like the big news to me. That is the big news, baby. That engine does sound good, Nathan. Why don't you give it a little bit of the beans? Let me hear it. All right, ready? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> you know, it sounds so good. We need to do a zero to 60 time. We have to do a zero to 60 time. It's an imperative. All right, Nathan, now there are two of us in here. Yep. And so people are gonna be complaining. Yeah, we're just doing an impromptu zero to 60, just to give you guys an idea. When we take it up to Denver, then we'll be able to give you a proper high altitude, zero to 60. Go for it, dude. Open right. stretch of road. All right, I'm gonna just do it flat, okay? Yep, at sea level. At sea level. Ready? Yep. Oh, oh. It gets on the line, nice. It does. And there is 60 right there. Oh, that is a driving impression. Yeah. <laughs> we can't, we can't tell them, dude. I forgot that would be a driving impression. So you guys are going to have to stay tuned for what we have for you with the Zoom 16. Alright, the way um, these programs work, Nathan, as I'm sure you know, is that they want to let all the journalists have a fair shot at getting the story out, and so unfortunately, uh, the information about what this thing drives like is embargoed for two weeks. But we want to be the first ones to kind of present it. That's, that's right. what we do with the fast lane car. Damn straight, we get them up fast. We get them up fast. So what we can do is we can tell you about the car, even though we cannot tell you exactly how it drives because that would be a driving impression. So there are two models, like the previous one. There's a Pentastar and then there's a Hemi. That's and we're right. in the RT, which is the dragster of the bunch. It, it is. It has uh, a more sporty suspension and it comes equipped with the 5.7 liter V8. Now you can also get it in the Citadel, which is the top of the line. So there's a Limited, there's an RT, and then there's a Citadel model. It starts out at about 30, and if you load it up with all the goodies, it goes all the way up to, oh, 45, $46,000. Mm -hmm. And I can give you the facts on this particular one because they have supplied us with a handy cheat sheet here. So this one, as tested, is guess. 40 grand. Very close, $45,500. Okay, okay, that's, that's definitely in high territory, but it's also competitive with a lot of vehicles in this bracket. Yeah, yeah, and it does compete with cars like the Explorer, the Pilot, uh, the Highlander, if we're mm -hmm. 
talking about apples to apples, and what makes this different is that this is, well, a badass Dodge, right? Their reputation is all about being sporty, being fast, being cool. Naughty. Naughty is a good word for it. Right, but what we can say is that this vehicle is different than all those vehicles because this is rear wheel drive. Biased, yes. So yes. it does have a all wheel drive slash four wheel drive system that you can get, but basically it is a front engine rear drive vehicle. Yeah, so you can do it in all-wheel drive, but those vehicles all tend to be front-wheel drive that mm -hmm. can then be made all-wheel drive. That is correct. Uh, and so if you're into kind of old-school muscle cars, this is the muscle car of the bunch because it's got the Hemi and it's got... Am I giving too much away? You're giving a lot away and you said muscle car, so that indicates that this is something that, it, you know, muscular. Hence, we feel it's got power, which means that we're giving away a driving compression. That's no 390 pound foot of torque. That's power. I'm not giving uh, away. Okay, that's like, I just, you know, how people get you know, yeah. yelling and screaming at us. All right, Dodge, write me if you think that's a driving impression. <laughs> I'll take that email any day of the week. So... Does Nathan fit? Well, let's have a look, shall we? Oh. Nathan does not fit. Well, now with the rear seats up, you put these babies down and I can live here. Now, the crazy thing is you can also get these new captain's chairs, right? Check That's it out. right. So it seats six instead of seven, and that means that you can spread out in the back in comfort, Nathan. That is correct, and they do fold flat. sound good. It sounds good from the inside too. Yeah, there's that kind of gurgle, that deep V8 American muscle car. Cojones. Cojones. Yeah. Now, in terms of towing capacity, Nathan, with the 6 Pentastar, the uh -huh. V6, you can tow up to 6,200 pounds. That's not bad. And with this one, when you get the Hemi, it's 7,400 pounds. Mm, very competitive. Very competitive. And here is Chrysler's little cheat sheet that I'm reading and uh, get this fuel economy v6 up to 25 mpg mm -hmm. and uh, with this one up to 23 23 so none of that is driving impression nope. I think that's nope. all fair game so technical stuff you might not be a bad boy it might be a nice boy you know no. <laughs> If it's a bad boy, that sort of is indicative of something that is naughty, hence fun, and that would be a driving impression, so it might be. All right, how this nice girl drives. As always, this is Nathan over there and Roman over here saying thanks for watching. Bye. See you next time. I would say, if you're looking for a way to put this in context, think of this as a baby Grand Cherokee, which makes sense, right? It's precisely where they marketed it. Look, it's it's smaller than the Grand Cherokee, and it, has, it gets better mileage than the Grand Cherokee. It is cheaper than the Grand Cherokee. In fact, the price point kind of goes right up to the Cherokee territory, and then get a Cherokee. So yeah, let's see, what, let's see what is... Oh, yeah, 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 see how much it costs. On the fact sheet. So we're in the 3.2 liter Pentastar, Nathan, which yeah. puts out 271 horsepower and 239 pound-feet of torque. Which, by the way, folks, the four-cylinder is available for this as well. You can get the Trailhawk with the four-banger. And in terms of price, we're looking at... 